Morning, John. Firstly, congratulations on being appointed as the new Mansfield Town Manager. What's your immediate reaction to that? Thank you, Steve-O. Um, I appreciate that. My first reaction would be to pay my respects to David Flipcroft and his staff, who are genuine good football people, who were excellent with me uh, under their time here, and really supportive of the academy and the academy staff, the academy players. So, uh, mixed emotions yesterday, um, but looking forward to the new challenge. What are your immediate priorities? I'm due to sit down with the chairman later on today. Um, I'm also due to speak to the players later on today. Um, so, they're my first two priorities. After that, it'll be planning, it'll be recruitment, both staff and players, um, and really get prepared for, for next season. What can we expect in terms of the retained list? When might that be announced? And have you decided which players you, you might want to keep on and those who you might want to release who are, uh, who are out of contract now? Yeah, I've got a good knowledge of the players. I've watched the majority of games this season. Um, I've spoken to first team staff. I've liaised briefly with the chairman, but like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to him again later on today. And we'll release the retained list as soon as possible. Um, you know, I understand the players have been through a lot this season. Um, they've just fallen short, um, and you know we've we've had to make some difficult decisions. But uh, that's football, uh, and we crack on from today. What is your assessment of the current squad, John? Strong, um, good characters. One of the benchmarks of a character is how the squad have accepted the academy players when they've been up training with them, and they've embraced them which I think is important. Like I said, in terms of where we finished in the league, the way some of the football we played was excellent. So the club as a whole is in a good place. Uh, I'm proud to be part of this football club. I always have been as a player, as a coach, as an academy manager, now first team manager. And I, I'm going to drive it forward now. I'm going to lead it and I'm looking forward to it. Let's just speak a bit more about players. Have you already identified potential targets? I have, yeah. Um, like I said, yesterday was really busy. Um, there hasn't been a lot of time since the decision was made. But there are targets in the pipeline, um, both staff and players. There are players that I've got knowledge um, externally already um, away from the football club that I rate highly. Uh, and I'll also be speaking to the contacts that I've got in the game that I've made over the years. Um, speaking to them, liaising with them about uh, the quality that's out there and you know we look to add to this squad that's already strong but uh, you know we're looking to improve it and elsewhere what do you intend to do in relation to your backroom team like I just touched on Steve-O um, I've been speaking to two or three people already uh, about potential roles um, joining the backroom staff I wouldn't want to go too much into that really until things are finalized but uh, they are close um, the people I've spoken to have been excited by the things I've said about the football club, our, our owners, our, our board. Um, so the club's in a really good place. Like I said earlier, I, you know, I want to be respectful to David Flickcroft, uh, but also this is the business we're in. This is the life we choose, um, and you know, there's lots to look forward to. How ready are you to make the step up from academy manager to first team manager? I'm ready. I think people can disrespect the academy manager role. There's a lot to it. There's uh, lots of different problems thrown at you. Uh, and how I've developed over the last four seasons um, has been incredible. And I owe that to the club. You know, they've put me through my qualifications. They've left me to do my job, they've supported me when I've needed it and I feel like I owe them. I owe the chairman for this opportunity and Carolyn. The board have always been supportive of me uh, and I intend to pay them back. What state is the academy in? A good state. There's room for improvement of course. Um, it's still in its infancy, four years old. Um, that's one of the benefits that I'll hopefully bring. I know the academy inside out. Um, the link between academy and first team was improved by um, the ex-manager and I'll look to continue to improve that and you know the young players at this football club will get a chance if they're good enough uh, and I know them inside out they know me and they know that 
um, there'll be no givens. They'll, they'll have to work extremely hard to get in and around it and they'll have to work even harder to get into this first team. Um, and to have the first team experienced players in and around it will only bring them on even further. When do you know if a certain youth team player is ready to make the step up? By his performances, by the way he acts off the pitch, um, by getting to know his personality and seeing how he acts to the first team environment. If he's performing well in training, uh, if he's scoring goals for the reserves or keeping clean sheets for the reserves, there's a good chance that you know he, he might need thrown in at some point. Listen, there's no kind of crystal ball with it. If a young player is going to the first team, sometimes it is sink or swim, but we won't know how these players will do until they're given that opportunity. What will you bring from the academy in terms of management style to the first team? I love dealing with people. Uh, I love dealing with players. I like to get the best out of people. Um, I demand high standards. Uh, I expect a positive attitude, but equally I'll deal with people with respect and I'll expect the same back. Um, I was brought up to be, yeah, to treat people how you want to be treated and that will remain the case, uh, you know, kind of going forward. Similar question this, John. What can the players, the first team players, therefore expect from you as their new manager? And what can the supporters? Um, without being cliche, hard work. Um, that's the foundation for uh, any football club, in, in my view. Um, I suppose I could be seen as kind of a bit of a more modern day coach because I'm still only 36. Um, I've done my qualifications, you know, over the last four or five years, but I believe in old school values. So the hard work, the, 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 you know, doing your best every day, wanting to be part of a successful team, putting the team first. Uh, these are all things that I value dearly and I'll expect the same from my players and staff. And what about from the supporters? You know, I, I, you know, I know the supporters well. I know that they can be demanding, uh, and I respect that, and I appreciate that. They want the best for this football club more than anyone. Uh, all I ask from them is their support. Um, I'm sure I'll get it. I'm sure the players will get it, and we look to kick on next season. I feel the heartache. I feel the pain um, from the way the season finished. I think everybody involved at the football club did. You know, the, the amount of people I saw crying after the penalty shootout, uh, it really it really hit home how important it is to the town. Um, but I was part of the team that came out for the conference and got the football club back into the league. Uh, you know, I, I was on the open top bus when we went round the town. I think it was lasted about three hours, actually, looking back. Um, but... Unbelievable memories, memories for life, and hopefully we can make a few more more memories for life. And what style of football can we expect your teams to play? I want to be attacking, uh, but equally I want to have a good balance. I think if you look at the sides that got promoted automatically from uh, this season, and even if you go back four or five seasons from League Two, they've had a good balance. Uh, I don't want to be a soft touch. We need to be strong at set plays for and against. Um, a big, I'm a big believer of doing the basics well. It's a great foundation. Um, if you're not playing so well, if you're doing the basics, the likelihood is you'll still pick up points. So um, there'll be no rocket science behind it. There'll be lots of planning. There'll be lots of preparation. Uh, and I also expect players to take ownership. You know, um, there's no kind of coaching manual or session you can put on a Friday if a player spins on a sixpence and puts it in the top corner. Um, that's playing on instinct and I'll encourage my players to do that also. You've only been in situ 24 hours, but have you already set yourself targets for next season? I think that's something I'll probably sit down with the chairman at a later time to discuss. Um, the finer details of things will be nailed down uh, a bit later on because the last 24 hours has been busy to say the least. And just to cap off here, John, uh, how would you sum up you're becoming the new Mansfield Town Manager? It's an honour. It's an absolute honour. Um, again, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. And one thing I can guarantee is I'll, I'll grab it with both hands and give it my best shot. We all wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Steve-O.